カプコンですわ Hey YouTube, it's Crazy Kenbe. And once again, welcome to my review. So we're gonna be reviewing World's Strongest Kenichi. This is a fighting game created by um, Capcom. And Kenichi has a few moves like your regular fighting game. One, you know, versus fighting gallery. But first, let's look at the story. About fighting games. One doesn't really look to the story of a fighting game because, well, most fighting game stories suck. But what Kenichi does is, well, it forces you to play the story mode as well. There are only two characters unlocked, which are, well, Kenichi and Mew. That's fine if you would like to play as those two, but if you're like me, you want to unlock who there is, so basically, you have to play the story mode. Well, it's not as bad as you would think because the story mode does have its benefits and advantages. For one, it's a, it's a training tutorial to help you get around the basics. For example, each chapter, there are like five chapters. Each chapter begins in that you start in the dojo and the master gives you some assignment to do. Assignment task, and then after that, you go into a spy mode of sorts with Mew. As I said before, each chapter begins in the dojo. Which you spawn some kind of drill with Mew, just like in a real martial arts dojo. Like for example, yeah, we're going to learn how to step back to the Jew. And as you go on each chapter, you begin to learn more advanced techniques. Well, eh, well the story basically follows the anime. You fight the members of Ragnarok until you reach the final showdown with Odin. And as you go on, you fight more members, you become progressively stronger. And that's going to be a good thing, too. Let me just get this out of the way. Odin is not a pushover, he's not your bitch final boss as Silver Fighting Games. You will really have to put everything you learned in the story mode to beat this guy. If not, well, well, if you don't do what the story tells you and what you learn, well, it's simply going to get your ass kicked. As shown below, exhibit A. 
100% effort has to go into you know, if you really want to beat him. <laughs> and it's a way of the game testing you to see if you can pay attention and not like skipping everything they say. Or we like a translation guide to just go to the next move. So make sure you learn the things you need to learn in the story as they are very helpful there on this move to some other moves. After being in story mode once, you should have unlocked most, if not all, the characters. Let's move into some fighting dynamics. Kenichi, it was a simple fighting game. It has a rock kind of paper dynamics. You can guard, but if you move, your guard will be disabled. It's a heavy attack, but if you press forward and heavy and triangle, you do a throw instead. And squares is light attack. You use X as a guard breaker. All this going to dynamics into the full code defined system, so things don't make things that sound so simple are a bit more complex now. Uh, what I really like about Kenichi is there's like if you watch the enemy, every move they do is specific to that character. You didn't get it from any other game. So every single move they do, the character is done again from manga or anime. Which is a really nice touch. Yeah. What I like about this game really is the way the characters present themselves and their personality. Another thing, when there are not that many stages, the stages are so varied as well. I mean, look at this stage, man. This is probably one of the greatest stages I've ever seen in fighting game. Look, it's a boss. It's, it, looks, it looks like this. It looks simple. It's a small boss, right? So it's actually getting knocked out easy. So this means you have to be on offensive, ready to go. You know, not like the other games. Sometimes you're like not ready in the first round. You have to be ready to go, or you will lose. So it's a basically a dynamic tug of war that goes in between the players, trying to stay on top and sometimes trying to defeat the other person. Very creative. I wish small fighting games did things like this. Very... One big flaw of Kenichi, in my opinion, is there really is not a lot of characters. It's basically Mew, Kenichi, and the eight members of Ragnarok. And maybe some two supporting so that's about, I think, 12 characters at the most. So basically, you will easily find a favorite. For example, this is my favorite character, Hermit. I like this Kung Fu style of fighting. I really wish they had put in the um the masters of the Ragnarok Dojo, but I guess that would kind of break the game. But one thing you always know by now, this game needs to be played with two people. And depending on how many people you begin to play with, it depends how long this game will last for you. And if you don't know how to play with, this game is done in the time, done in the day. But anyway, if you like a challenging fighter, and it's something a little bit different from something else going around there. Colorful Nice Fighter. I I should actually check this out. And this is Crazy Kenbe, and I'll leave you with a fight between the two strongest characters in the game. One. Round one!